I finally got my shipment in from Dua. Um, disregard my tired eyes. I am running on only a few hours of sleep um, last night. I had a emergency in the family uh, that I had to attend to. Um, but anyway, I finally got my shipment in from Dua. Um, I will say overall, Dua shipping has gotten better. A lot of people are happier. They seem to be getting their packages earlier. I will say my experience has not changed. Um, and I don't know if it's because it seems to me that anybody who just orders a couple of bottles, they don't get their stuff as quick. Um, my stuff shipped via FedEx. I ordered it September 4th. I just now got it. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's definitely not that quick. I know there was a Labor Day sale, but I, I've had this issue uh, twice now in ordering from them. Um, you know, once their shipping speed got quicker. So I don't know, it could just be me. But anyway, it's not the end of the world. I did get them. I ordered um, something that I had been requesting repeatedly from Dua. And that is um, their version of Pacific Rock Moss. It's called Dua's Mossy Rock. Uh, yeah. Um, so it's a little waterfall as far as the logo goes. Kind of cool looking. Um, so Pacific Rock Moss, what this is cloning is a fragrance from Goldfield and Banks. Um, it's aquatic, um, it's certainly a fresh fragrance. Uh, it, it's got this, you know, seductive sort of vibe to it. Now there's not really any aquatic notes that are actually listed, uh, but it's certainly an, has an aquatic vibe to it. So you the notes, there's lemon, uh, cedar, obviously there's moss. Um, and I'm trying to think what all sage, uh, which is why some people kind of compare it to, um, you know, uh, Joe Malone's wood sage and sea salt. I get the similarities. I don't think they smell the same, but I do get the similarities. I've always preferred, pre preferred Pacific rock moss over, uh, wood sage and sea salt personally. I think it's more masculine leaning. I think it's more sexy, um, more seductive smelling. Uh, so for whatever reason, I always have. The issue with Pacific Rock Moss and the reason there was kind of a need for clone houses to clone it, well, two reasons. One, it's expensive. I think it runs about $150 a bottle. Um, but even more concerning than that is the performance is terrible on it. Now, they have recently reformulated uh, the fragrance, and for once, this reformulation's actually addressed um, performance issues. Well, I won't say for once. Uh, Perfumes de Marley did it with Sedley. But the newer version actually performs better. I have not tried the newer version, so I can't say how much better. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to you know, really get into that, but it, nonetheless, it's still $150. A lot more expensive than what a lot of people want to pay, and it's also, you know, again, Price per mil, yeah, it's probably about the same price as Dua, if not cheaper. But at the same time, a lot of people don't want to commit to the 100 mil bottle. They'd rather just buy a 30 mil of something. Even though you can get a decant, usually it's not the same price. Regardless, there's a need for this. The main need, though, is a lot of people were wanting, including myself, something that was going to perform better. Okay, um, There's other houses that have certainly cloned Pacific Rock Moss. Uh, you know, Central Obsessions has cloned it. Uh, Dappers cloned it. King Fragrances has cloned it. Um, I think those are really the three that I'm aware of. Uh, Alexandria has not. And Dua took a generation to do it. Now, Masama kept saying that he was doing it to get it right. Um, to give him trouble. Um, they were having issues with the longevity. And it took forever for them to finally nail it down. Which would not be too surprising to me. Because... Um, to this day, uh, you know, the clones I've tried, they perform all right, but it's not like a drastic improvement. Uh, you get about five hours out of them. The best performing one on my skin so far is King's. Uh, it's their Pacific Tide, I believe it's called. Yeah, Pacific Tide. Um, but it performs, longevity is very, very good. Uh, the issue is with all the clones I've tried, the projection is just not there. So, you know, Kings will sit on you for like seven hours, but it's very intimate, close. Um, same thing with Dapper, doesn't last as long, but it'll, it, it, you know, it still, it'll, it's very intimate, 
percent profile, it doesn't really project in the same issue with Central Obsessions. Um, you know, all of them, even the Dapper, honestly, smell good. They do. I think I prefer Kings and Central Obsessions over Dapper, but they all smell good. Um, I will say it's one of my uh, few Dappers I've actually kept in my collection. I still have it now. Um, but nonetheless, you know, again, even the Kings, which lasts the longest on my skin, doesn't really project uh, after the, more than like two hours. Um, you know, it's very close, intimate. If somebody's got to be like kind of right up on you to really smell it. So anyway, that's what we were all hoping for Dua. Um, potentially Alexandria, if they ever come out with it, uh, was to kind of address that issue and to maybe make this last even longer um, as well. So I'm going to spray this and kind of give you my first initial impressions. I also did wear this today when I received it. So I'm going to be able to speak a little bit to performance and stuff like that as well. I'm just going to use the, the little packing card here. As you can tell, it's sprayed right away. I've used this. So it smells different off the paper. Off the paper, immediately what I picked up was the lemon. I sprayed it on my hand because it certainly smelled a little different earlier. Yes. So you notice it more off the skin. This is not a one-to-one, -one, okay? Um, Dua upped the moss quite a bit. The opening is very green. The lemon is there, but there is a very... It's, it's much greener than the original, okay? Now, as it dries down, it gets a lot closer, and it falls in line with the other clones. Um, you know... I wore this, put it on about, what time did I get there? Um, I'm going to say three. No, it was actually later than that. Four. I think it was four. Around four o'clock. Um, I sprayed it as soon as I got it. I left about seven from the place I was at. Uh, 7.30. And it was there when I left. I could still smell it. But, like every other clone, it sat very close. After about an hour and a half, two hours, to me, it was not jumping off my skin. It was very close, intimate scent bubble. So, this smells good. It's a good clone, but it didn't fix the issue. Um, and perhaps it's it's unfixable. Perhaps the issue is just the scent profile. Uh, you know, maybe it's just something that, given what it is, it's hard to really make it last or project. Uh, you know, because of the notes. The opening on this, like I said, is off. It smells good though, still. Um, but when it, as it dries down, it gets very close. That lemon kind of backs away, and the moss kind of fades a little bit. Uh, it smells good. Okay, don't get me wrong. It performs. This performs pretty good. I will say though, by the time I got back, probably eight o'clock, I had sprayed this on four. I'm talking four hours, and right now even. Uh, going on five. I can't smell it. Well, I can smell it off my hand now, but I can't smell it at all. And I sprayed myself five times. So this is not a performance monster. This has not solved the issue. Again, I've only worn this once. And yes, maybe it needs time to macerate. Of course, Dua, if you ask them, will tell you no. They don't need to macerate. Um, so I'm not saying it doesn't change. It does. But I think the amount the fragrance changes isn't going to be enough where this is going to become this performance beast, okay? It's very intimate, like I said. Uh, it smells good, though. It's a great smelling fragrance. I'm going to keep them. I ordered two. I'm going to keep them. But I was disappointed. I was hoping that they would be able to solve the problem. I guess it was asking too much. Again, I don't think it's a knock on Dua. I think it was just... They clearly were taking forever to get it done, and maybe it was because they were struggling. Um, which is understandable. No other clone house has really um, so, you know, fixed it. 
it's just kind of weird because they they made it seem like they got it perfect and they did find a solution and i i no uh, at least not on my skin okay but it is a good smelling fragrance like i said it's on right i am going to keep it um this one does certainly resemble wood sage and sea salt more than the actual real one does uh yeah um but it, it still smells really good so i also got two um uh, samples besides cafe i'm gonna go ahead and just tell you my thoughts on these while i'm sitting here and herbs and sea salt desire to um so let's just this is gonna be quick again i don't I don't know anything about the notes on these. I'm going to tell you what, if I think they smell good or not. Certainly not going to spray them, spray them on my skin right now. Uh, we're just going to do a test trip on these. This one's gotten a lot of hype in the group. Poseidon's Cafe. It smells pretty good. Yeah, it's interesting. The coffee and the pineapple... It almost smells kind of dirty, though, because of the coffee. Like a dirty pineapple. Earthy pineapple. Hmm. It smells pretty good. I don't get the height, but it smells pretty good. I think, to me, it's kind of weird. Because I don't think of pineapple and coffee. Together, I love the smell of coffee. I love pineapple. Together, it smells good. It's certainly not something I'm going to buy. Not something I'm going to wear. But it smells pretty good. I could see why people would like it. And then this is wood shades and sea salt, so Joe Malone's herbs and sea salt. Um, or wood sage and sea salt. Uh, and um, Desire 2, which is Zerzhoff's uh, Del Cruz. I forget how you actually pronounce it. It's this kind of like creamy, mango-y uh, fragrance that, in my opinion, needs feminine. So it should be an interesting combination. You got that with the kind of woody, sagey, semi-aquatic vibe. Well, that smells good. Probably too feminine for me. But that smells pretty good. Yeah, I want to say I like this better than the the Poseidon's Cafe. Yeah, I'm gonna see how those dry down, but. To me, this one's uh, much better. Probably leaves a little feminine. You get the creamy mango, but it just has that kind of like, you can smell the herbs and sea salt kind of like lightly on top of that because clearly the Zerzhoff is a more dominant, overpowering fragrance. But it kind of gives it this nice little subtle, um, you know, just like sparkly aquatic kind of top on the mango. I think it makes it more palatable. I think it's going to make it more easy for men to wear um than just the desire to by itself uh but i am interested to see how they dry down and i will give my thoughts kind of on the comments on that um afterwards anyway again i apologize i know i'm look like i you know never slept in my life uh, <laughs> uh it's been rough it's been a rough week but here's my initial thoughts so do as muscle rock close closest close to Pacific Rock Moss percentage wise, I don't know, 90%, let's say, okay, um, 85, 90%. Um, performance, about in line with the other clones. Better than the original, very intimate scent bubble, projects for about an hour and a half, two hours, then sits really close to your skin. Again, I couldn't smell this for four hours, so quite honestly, the other clones perform better on me. But it is new. Maybe it'll get better when times the master after it has time to macerate. That said, I doubt projection is going to change at all. Okay. So either way, even if this goes to a fragrance that sits for five, six hours, maybe seven, I don't see that happening. But if it does, it's still going to be a very intimate, close to the skin scent. And what we were hoping for, I think the large majority of us, were that this would project a little better. Um, it doesn't for me, at least. Anyway, good night. Hopefully uh, this was helpful. I'm going to get some sleep because I certainly need it. Um, I got a lot of other stuff to review. Um, I got a Making Sense follow-up video for uh, the samples that were sent. I got some Montangs I've got to review. I got uh, Royal um, 
Agar coming in to review. I got the two hybrids that were just released from Genre to review, a Gentle Storm and Wave Musk or Musk Wave. I got my Alexandria Top Fall. I got a ton of stuff that I just need to get around to doing. So um, just keep an eye out. Um, I'm also going to work a little bit on this channel. I'm going to, you know, start getting maybe a little better equipment. I'm going to work on an intro video and stuff and start making this a little more legit than it is now. Anyway, I appreciate all you watching um, and everybody that's, you know, helped uh, give it suggestions and input and things you'd like me to see from the channel. And, you know, again, just kind of whatever suggestions and everything else. So um, I appreciate y'all. Have a good night.